healthier and has played well. Morgan's getting better. I think that stuff's exciting. You know, we got individuals that are improving. Our team is playing its best uh, with this current rendition right now that it's played all season. So, to me, you know, that's what's important. Uh, getting these guys to cap out here down the stretch. I think we're, you know, headed in that direction. Jim, every day's different. You know that every game's different. But right now, I like where we're headed, and uh, got to get a couple of those other guys healthier. But recruiting's going well in terms of that stuff. So the direction. You know, we're, we're excited about it. You know, we just got to continue to be patient, which you know me know me well. I'm sometimes not the most patient person, but uh, it's taught me patience. John, he asked you about what kind of support that he could offer for coaches. What, no, we what haven't got into no, any He mentioned detail. it up there. Okay. What, what do you look for in terms of that kind of thing? In terms of support? Yeah. Well, I just think, you know, obviously he mentioned the word trust. Trust is a huge, it's, it's a huge word. You know, it's, it's a... It's an important word, you know, having a having a relationship where, you know, you say something, you do it, you know, as Josh just mentioned. I think that's critical. Um, he and I haven't gotten into details yet in terms of, you know, sitting down, obviously, uh, as to, you know, where we are, what we need moving forward, uh, how we're doing. And I'm excited to get some of, of uh, his ideas. You know, um, you know, obviously he studies leadership. It's what I it's what we do. You know, for me, that's the fun part, you know, is leading a group of staff, support staff, players, student athletes, and trying to get them to reach their potential, not only individually, but as a team. So there, there's some similarities there between our two positions. So I'm excited to get a chance to learn from him. No question, Shannon. Yeah, I mean, obviously I've said that now when asked about it. I think, you know, more than anything, it just gives a chance to move forward. Um, you know, I do think it, uh, and, and hopeful that, you know, it'll, it'll reignite, you know, our, 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 our fan base, uh, our alums, our students, you know, and all kind of get us headed in that, in that same direction. It's the story I tell the players uh, all the time, and certainly no one's at fault. You know, when I say, I'll give you this story, it's, you know, obviously Paul has done an amazing job in a very challenging situation while we've been in waiting. <laughs> Uh, for this to happen today, but it's a story I tell the players about the bus driver where he gets on the intercom and says, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we're making unbelievable time. The bad news is I have no idea where I'm going. And, you know, now we're going to make unbelievable time and we know where we're going to be going. And I think that's the, that'll be a you know, big difference and uh, one that I think all of us in this room and certainly across the board on campus are excited about. He seems to have a lot of similarities to you when I, when I hear him speak. Hairline? <laughs> no, I <laughs> wasn't going there. Uh, but to, what, 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 you, what was your reaction to what he was saying, his vision? You know, I, I just try to read people, and I've had now two interactions with him. It's pretty obvious that he's very articulate, um, has great passion, and loves this place. And I, I think that those things are amazing qualities to be able to transfer upon a first or second brief meeting or meetings um you know and obviously just a knowledge of this place so i think all those things are great I and mean, like i said i look forward to i want to learn i challenge our players all the time to be lifelong learners you know and you've got to be open-minded and obviously with his experience here as a student athlete his experience being a director of athletics uh at two previous places and and uh being successful and and uh, you know that leadership is an art you know, it's not, obje it's not objective where I say to you, Jeremy, this is the exact way to lead this group of people every time, A, B, C, D, E, F. You know, I think as you learn, as you, as you, when you're a leader or you're a head coach, there's things maybe you've done in the past that transfer or apply to future teams or a team you're coaching, and then there's other things you have to adapt and uh, be open-minded about. Um, and obviously, he's had a great deal of success as a leader, so I'm, I'm looking forward to having an opportunity to learn from him. I think there's one key word that you use so far. It's going to inform Josh Whitman's analysis of you on the job, and it's recruiting. To the extent that you can talk about how great it's going, you know, creatively, you know, without violating any NCAA rules. <laughs> of course not, right? I wouldn't violate any NCAA rules. Um, you know, obviously that's the lifeblood, Rob, of the of the program. You know that it's about people. He said it earlier. Whether that's having the right staff, having the right support staff, having the right players in the locker room that not only can do it from a talent perspective, but that are fits for the university. I think he's going to get that. There's no question about that. Uh, do I think today helps us 
moving forward with recruiting now that we have a leader, no question about it. I think it's a great thing. As I said earlier, I think it provides a rudder to the ship. Um, it, it's going to put uh, our, our vision, uh, which I think you have to have a leader that it will ignite uh, that vision and our passion to win and to do it the right way and to you know, change student athletes' lives, which we're all doing, you know, working to do. I think you've got to have a leader in place, and now we have one. In 2017, November 2017, that's going to be a good month for Illini fans. I'm excited about recruiting, yeah, and the guys, I'm excited about our state. I'm excited about what we're doing nationally with it. You know, obviously this helps today. Thanks, John. Thanks. Al, did you miss